Hello guys, hope you have been having a very lovely day and in this video I want to tell you how to obtain a transfer function from zeros and poles. In the previous video we have seen how to obtain the zeros and poles when a transfer function is given. In this video let us do the opposite of that. So here we have the question that the zeros of the transfer function which is needed which we need to find out is minus 3 and the poles are minus 1 and minus 2 so we need to form a transfer function using these two things so first of all let us write down the numerator of the transfer function we know that the zeros of a transfer function are the roots of the numerator of the transfer function so minus 3 is the root of the numerator of the transfer function which is needed so s minus minus 3 will be the numerator of the transfer function which is s plus 3 coming to the denominator the denominator will be s minus minus 1 into s minus minus 2 which is s plus 1 into s plus 2 so you can which you can simplify and write it down as s squared plus 3s plus 2 so on the whole you get that the transfer function is s plus 3 by s squared plus 3s plus 2 this is the required transfer function so let me just repeat the steps for this first in the question they are going to give you the zeros of the transfer function and the poles of the transfer function and we know that the zeros of a transfer function are the roots of the numerator of the transfer function so using the zeros of the given transfer function we can find out the numerator so given that the zero is minus three, we can know that minus three is the root of the numerator's equation. So s minus minus three, which is s plus three, is a numerator, and likewise s plus one into s plus two is the denominator. And if you simplify that, you're gonna get s squared plus three s plus two. So you have the numerator and you have the denominator. What else do you need? You can write down the transfer function, which is g of s is equal to s plus 3 by s squared plus 3 s plus 2. Let's just look at another example. So in our second example, the zero of the given transfer function is zero itself, and the poles are minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. And we have a new thing here, which is the gain is equal to 6. In the last example, when it didn't give you any gain, you can assume that the gain is equal to 1, which means when you need to form a transfer function, you multiply it with the gain. So in this situation, you can assume that the... Uh, numerator of the transfer function because the, the zero is zero so the numerator of the transfer function is six is six you can write down the gain in that case and we have the poles as minus one minus two and minus three so you have to find out the denominator which is going to be s plus one into s plus two and s plus three so if you simplify this, you're going to get s cubed plus 6 is square plus 11 is plus 6. So this is your denominator and this is your numerator. This is your denominator and this is your numerator. So you're going to get the transfer function which you need is going to be 6 by s cubed plus 6 s square plus 11 s plus 6. This is your g of s which is your required transfer function you may now ask what if the a zero was given what if the zero was two or something what if it was that what do you do if it was two or three or something let me say three in that case it is going to be the numerator is going to be s minus three as usual into six so our required numerator is going to be our required transfer function will change as this but in our case since we don't have any zero mentioned you don't have this I'm sorry you don't have s minus 3 you have 
only 6 because that is the given game coming again given that the, there is we have no zero given which is the zero is zero we have the poles as minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 we have the gain which is 6 so the numerator is going to be 6 if we had been given a zero then it is going to be s minus that zero into 6 but in our case we have no zero so the gain is going to be the numerator so put 6 in the numerator and you know how to form the denominator you have poles minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so the denominator is going to be s plus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 3 which you can simplify and you get this s cubed plus 6 s squared plus 11 s plus 6 so now you can write down the transfer function 6 by 6 s cubed by s cubed plus 6 s squared plus 11 s plus 6 this is your g of s this is the way in which you obtain a transfer function from zeros and poles and gain for the matlab version of the same thing please look out for my other videos on my channel thank you for listening and have a very nice day